Good evening, everybody. Yes, as you can see, I've released a new version. There is the release of 0 0.1.4. In this release, I put out uh, some, I just wanted to fix some of the bugs, some of the uh, residue code, and I just tried a lot on making it more performant and uh, generally speaking, just better startup times. That's what I really wanted. But uh, rest assured, I still added some new features. Let's uh, go through the least important to the most important. Now, somebody has uh, in my Discord server has complained about the current DDoP settings. Uh, sometimes the clips would still have some duplicated frames in case if they're like screen pens. And uh, that's something that I wanted to address to a new DDoP strength uh, filter or setting. Generally speaking, the original DDoP strength is still the light. Let's just see how what was what would the expected output be. Ignore that alert, that uh, thingy. That's only for debugging purposes and it should not appear on your own screen. Okay. Give it just a second to finish. This is a nine seconds clip at the end of the day. Yeah, this is the deduplicated and upscaled output. Let's try with the medium preset. The medium and high presets should technically be about uh, twice as more aggressive compared to the the version underneath it or the strength underneath it. So this is the medium output and do a high output. And this is the high output. Well, uh, as you can see, roughly half of uh, every setting. So just in case if the light version is not enough for you, you can anytime just change it to a higher um, strength and see how that works. Another key feature that I have added is auto cutting. Auto cutting is an algorithm that is uh, implemented in FFmpeg that take use uh, use of uh, basically looks for uh, scene changes and on every scene change I just cut the clip. Here I have a clip. I've added also auto cut sensitivity. Generally speaking, I would sit anywhere from 50 to 80%. Anything higher or lower may not be accurate enough, but I will show you in a second that even sometimes 80% is sometimes not accurate enough or sometimes over accurate. But generally speaking, 90 to 95% of the time, it should be good enough. That's the auto cut. This again shouldn't pop up for you. That's just for me. And done. We have auto cut. So here's a screen a skin, a scene change. Uh, here's another scene change. Here's another one. Here's another one. So on and so forth. Here is one of the issues that I see. Uh, the scene has such a huge difference, or rather, the frame before had such a huge difference than the new frame. They thought it's a scene change, but it isn't actually. This is just a limitation. Of course, you can any time just run it again with a lower or a higher sensitivity, depending on your situation. But as you can see, it cuts the clip really, really well. I would say that for most use cases, uh, even here, for instance, uh, it thinks there's a difference. But again, that's just something that you can fix with the drag and drop. But uh, for 90 to 95% of the use cases, I would say it's uh, plenty enough to automate your work. Yeah, uh, even here, the difference is large enough for you to think. But of course, this is not perfect. Nothing in this world is perfect, but uh, it should speed up your work tremendously, not having to uh, manually cut your clips. Uh, as you could have seen, it's really fast. This is a 45 second clip that I just cut in a matter of uh, seconds. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's a release of 0 0.14. It's going to be up on GitHub on uh, in the description below too in an approximately an hour or so after the release of this video. Have a wonderful evening or day.